Investigations are underway in Polk County right now following a deadly plane crash. Winter Haven police confirmed four people were killed when two planes collided and fell into Lake Hartridge. Eight on your side's Beth Rousseau is live on scene this morning with the latest. Beth. Hey, Avery, so local law enforcement telling us this morning that this is now over recovery effort. You can see they have the area taped off. There's a deputy station right there by the boat ramp as they continue their efforts out here. If we pull up some video from Eagle 8 HD, you can see the wreckage floating in Lake Hart Ridge here in Winter Haven where this crash happened. Deputies say just after two o'clock Tuesday afternoon, a Piper J3 Cub seaplane and a Piper Cherokee crash mid air, not far from the Winter Haven Regional Airport. This morning, we're learning more about three of the the four people killed in the collision. 24 year old Faith Baker, who was a flight instructor with Sunrise Aviation and 19 year old Zachary Mace, who was in the Piper with Baker. 67 year old Randall Crawford was in the other aircraft. Now we talked to a flight instructor who says many small aircrafts don't have the equipment to show other planes in the sky and then many small airports don't have air traffic control. So it's really on the pilots to coordinate and keep an eye out for one another. I've been into the Winter Haven Airport many times in my own personal airplane, and it's not a difficult airport to fly in and out of, but there has to be conscious effort at coordination. Back out here live, you can see the command post that's set up. It's actually the FAA that's heading up this investigation this morning. Again, law enforcement not releasing details about that fourth victim that they say has passed away in this crash. As we learn more, we're going to update you here on Aaron on the WFLA app. We're live in Polk County this morning. Beth Russo, eight on your side.